So this is the last test cycle we have here. It's the Charles proxy test cycle. And in the Charles proxy test cycle, you, you will have the same choices just like in the mobile test cycle. You can test on your Android and your iOS or even on the desktop uh, browser. But actually you are, you know, you have to download an application which is called Charles proxy. And this program is actually, uh, well, you know, capture the log for the errors or the issues that you will find on whatever environment that you are testing on. So let's see together how to download and how to work on the Charles proxy. Maybe this is the, the only difficult uh, test cycle on, on new test, but it's not so difficult because all the uh, steps that you have to do is actually recorded on one of the on uh, some videos in which you are told what to do in each environment to install and set up correctly the Charles proxy on this environment but let me uh, tell you this advice do not start on the steps of downloading and uh, setting up your uh, Charles proxy before you open your test case open the test case and then go to the document in which you have the steps to complete the test case uh, and go step by step while you are watching the video or watch the video for the first time and then when you try to apply I mean to install or to you know put the certificates of the Charles proxy or set up the Charles proxy go on to the document go to the document and start passing the steps one by one and why that because you may be told in for example in the step number you know five or six to attach an image for for this step and if you did all the things in the video alone and without you know recording the steps one by one you may be told to attach the image in the sixth step or the seventh step and you then you will then have to you know do everything from the first or from the beginning just to you know find the, the step and attach an image or make a screenshot for it so go step by step with the document in the test case in order to be able to you know finish the document steps uh, at the same time you are sitting sitting up your you know charles proxy application so let's see the videos together To download Charles, go to charlesproxy.com forward slash download and select the correct version for your desktop or laptop computer. When the download is finished, install the program and open it. When you open Charles, the program will look like this. Click on Proxy in the menu bar and select Windows Proxy. This will tell the program that the device you want to proxy is your Windows computer. To use Charles Proxy features, you need to install the root certificate. Click on Help, SSL Proxying, and click Install Charles Root Certificate. The certificate will be displayed, but it's not trusted. Click on Install Certificate, select your current user, and select the second option to place certificates in the following store. Select Browse and choose the second option. Trusted Root Certification Authorities. Then click OK. Click Next. And then click Finished. Click Yes to install the certificate. And the import was successful. Click OK. And then click OK. To verify that the certificate is trusted, click Help, SSL Proxying, Install Charles Root Certificate. Click on Certification Path. This certificate is OK. Click OK. To decrypt your computer's incoming and outgoing traffic, you need to enable SSL Proxy. Click on Proxy and then select SSL Proxying Settings. Click Add to tell Charles which domains you want to decrypt. 
Host is where you will enter the name of the domain you want to decrypt traffic from. If you type an asterisk, all of your computer traffic will be decrypted. It looks like this. Check your cycle overview or ask the TTL in chat about what host should be added when using Charles Proxy in a live test cycle. If you type a website name with an asterisk before and after the name, Charles will only decrypt traffic with that word in the domain. It looks like this. The standard port for SSL proxying is 443. Type 443 into the port field and click OK. You will now have a new proxying rule that looks like this. Click OK. Now you are ready to record your Charles proxy log. The circle icon will start or stop your log, and the broom icon will clear the log so that you can start over. To begin recording, click on File and then click New Session. Because of the SSL proxying settings that have been applied, only uTest traffic will be decrypted. Go to uTest.com to verify that everything is working correctly. You'll know your settings are correct if there's a blue circle next to the traffic that you're trying to decrypt. All other websites will have a padlock, and inside of it the information will be unknown. Inside of utest.com, the information can be accessed and opened. You can stop by clicking Record, and you can clear the traffic by clicking the broom. To change your settings, click on Proxy, and then click SSL Proxying Settings. Click on your rule, and you can modify by changing the website that you want it to decrypt, for instance, NBA then click OK and OK. Click Record and then go to that website to verify that everything is set up correctly. Since there's a blue circle next to the traffic I'm trying to decrypt, I know that this is working correctly. If I go to another website that I'm not trying to decrypt, for instance utest.com right now, the traffic will be padlocked like it is here. The information will be unknown and nothing can be accessed. Click the record button to stop and click the broom to clear. You can add another rule to your proxying settings by clicking proxy, SSL proxying settings, and then click add. We can add another website by typing utest inside of asterisks and then typing the port as 443, click OK, and both NBA and utest will be available. To verify this, click record and then launch both of those websites. Utest is decrypted, and so is NBA. When you're done recording the log, click the record icon and then click File and Save Session As. Name your log and then click Save. You will now have a Charles log saved as a .charles file. You can upload this to your test case or bug report in the uTest platform. When you are done using Charles for testing, make sure to remove the root certificate. Click on the search bar and type CERTMGR.MSC. Then press Enter. Open the trusted root certificate, click on Certificate, and then delete the Charles Proxy certificate. Right click and then click delete. Click yes and then confirm. You can now close the certificates and close Charles. And that's how you get a Charles log using your Windows computer.